All right, so in this video, I'm gonna address the most common question I get, um, and that is, uh, if I'm a single person with a single listening position, can I get by with a single sub? And the reason people ask that question is because one of the bigger benefits of running dual subs is evenness going from seat to seat. And so they think, well, if I don't have another person listening, maybe I don't need a, a dual subs, I can get by with just one. And it, it's sound reasoning, I, I get where people are coming from. Uh, and my opinion is, I don't care if I have another person listening ever. And it, it, it has, for me, it doesn't have anything to do with that. That's a benefit, that's a plus. Like the fact that dual subs sound great seat to seat is, is a plus to me. Um, the fact that I can get more output and therefore more dynamic headroom, that's a plus to me. But the biggest reason that I wanna run duals, even if I'm in a single position and it's just me, is because you can hear all of the bass. You get a standing wave effect with a single sub, okay? And so when you get that, that means that there, there's parts of the bass that's going to be missing. And it doesn't matter if you get a completely flat looking graph when you use Room EQ Wizard, it still doesn't matter. Having two subs separated uh, allows the, the bass to, it allows the sound waves to interlace and basically knock down the standing wave effect and make it to where you can hear all of the bass. And so once you have duels, and then the other thing I would suggest is going uh, and checking out my bass hack series and, and uh, doing the distance hack. Um, when you do dual subs and then you do the distance hack, you're getting it all. You're getting all of the bass. What you're doing is you're varying the phase a little bit uh, using the distance setting in your AVR and it just, you hear more of the bass that way. And so between running dual subs and doing the distance hack, you really are getting the most out of your subs. Um, and so it's, it's a question I get a lot. I find myself answering it a lot. And so now I'm just gonna point people to this video. Um, and because I think it's worth explaining. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you're the only person ever listening and you're only in one single seat and that doesn't move. You can use DSP and you can use bass traps and you can use all this stuff to get around this problem or you can just do the intelligent and the, 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 the best way and the proven way to do it, which is just split your budget, get dual subs, and then, you know, like I said, do the distance hack on top of that to add a little icing to the cake and your base game will be totally changed. Um, it, 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 the, not only all of this stuff like the seat to seat and the, the improved uh, you know, output and, and all that, all that stuff is great too, um, but then there's also the intangible. Um, it feels more like a movie theater. Uh, and if you go with the subwoofers that are on the list, it goes way deeper than most any theater you've been to. Um, the bass is completely different. Uh, you go to a basic theater, they go down to about 40 hertz. Uh, most of the subs on my list tend to go down to about 14 hertz. So it's, it's, a, it's a noticeable difference and it's a powerful difference. Um, but So if you haven't checked out the list already, do that. Um, the list really kind of explains everything in depth and detail on why I, I have these specific subs that I listen to. And part of that too is another video I'm gonna, I'm gonna tackle, is there's a difference between going deep and sounding deep. And it's, it's a very important difference. Um, but anyway, that's just my quick video on if you need a single or dual, if you're, if you're a single person and there's nobody else ever listening and you're just in a single position, doesn't matter. Go in duels will improve your bass game dramatically. Um, and you know, and one more point to that is if you have a, a, a sub that has two drivers in it or you, you have two subs that are stacked, um, that's certainly better than a single sub with a single driver, um, but truly I like having them separated. There's something about what it does to the whole sound wave interlace thing that really it just does it for me and it, it just sounds correct and it sounds really good. Um, so anyway, hopefully that helps. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I do a lot of videos like this that help you understand the basic stuff, help you get through decisions a little quicker. Um, I know what it's like to agonize over this stuff. It's, it's frustrating. It, it breaks your brain and all that stuff. So uh, hopefully this helps. Um, let me know in the comments if you agree with this, if you disagree, if you, if you think I missed the mark. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, for me, it, it makes a big difference. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. And again, please subscribe.
Bear, come on. Look at that big boy.